Hello guys, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Imo King. Today we're going to be talking about plugin transition presets. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install plugin transitions and how to apply plugin transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, plugin transition presets can be gotten from assets websites or YouTubers giving away free assets in their YouTube channels alongside other editing packs and so on. In most cases, you can find and download it in their video description section. So the first step will be to install the preset and then to extract the preset into your PC. Now over here, I've installed a preset from YouTube. This is a 60 plus transition preset that I installed from YouTube. Okay, so because I've already installed this software, I'm receiving a prompt telling me that I already have a destination folder that contains this process file. So I'm just going to go back to where I have these transitions. So as you can see, I have them extracted to this folder over here. So the next thing I want to do is show you how to import them into Premiere Pro. So what you would like to do is to come back to Premiere Pro, go to your effects settings, then you will scroll down to presets over here. Let me quickly close this. Then you will right click and then you click on import presets. So because I've already installed it, I'm not going to click open. But once you click open here, you are going to have it inside your preset folder. So if you scroll down here, you are going to find the preset here. This is 60s transitions widget pack. So you can see the subfolders that form this 60s transition. So we have them into glitch transition, offset color transition, offset transition, stretch echo transitions, stretch glow transitions, and other kinds of transitions. The next thing I want to show you is how to apply them in Premiere Pro. But before you apply them, it's important that you note that there are different ways that you can use the different presets. So it's important that you take out time to watch the entire tutorial videos on how to apply the various presets. I'll be showing you two examples of how to apply the preset. But bear in mind that these are not the only two ways to apply preset transitions in Premiere Pro. So you want to study the various techniques that the YouTuber or the website has given you for their particular preset. Okay, let me play this video so you can see what it looks like. So playing this now, you will notice that this is just a still image that I've added keyframe animation to, and they all have just a simple cut in between them. At the end of every image, you'll notice it just changes a simple cut into another image. And lastly, I have a video here that I downloaded from MixKit. What you want to do is you want to go in between the various clips that you have, Hit on shift and the left arrows twice. Then you cut. Then hit on shift and the right key four times. And that will take you to the right portion twice. Then you cut again. The reason why I'm doing it is that this particular preset requires. 20 frames to the left and 20 frames to the right of each clip and that is the required duration for the transition some presets might require 12 frames some might require 10 frames some might require 20 frames so it's important that you watch the tutorial and then you read for any details that might be dropped inside the tutorial so i'll just go ahead and hit the alt key change this to v to my selection tool and hit the alt key so that i can lift these two and use them to measure the distance in between the other clips. So if I take this to the middle here, and I take this to the middle here, I now know the distance between these clips here, where I can now cut the same 20 frames. So I'll just move on to the next clip and apply the same effect. I'll just hit on Alt key here. Okay, let me change that back to my selection tool and hit on Alt key so that I can copy this both clips here and then I can now simply apply cut to cut in between these two clips. All right guys now that I've achieved that I can go ahead and delete the clips at the top here. So I now have my complete 20 frames in between these clips. So what you want to do next is you want to select these double clips here. Select these double clips here, 
right click and apply a nest to it the reason why you are doing this is because you are required to have a single clip the transitions in most cases apply to only a single clip so i'll come over to this other one here select them both and then i will nest them into one single clip i'll now move over to the next one here select them and apply a nest to add them into a single clip now that I've achieved that, we can now go dial down into our CC transition here and apply transitions to them. So the first transition I want to apply here is a stretch transition. So if I drag this to this portion here, and then I come over here and play, you can see the stretch. You can see it's actually stretched. It's no longer a single cut. Now if I come over here, to this other one i can now go into another transition i'm just trying anyone so we can try the wiggle color transition over here now you will notice that these ones have two presets in each one of them so you have the bottom and the top when you see this kind of preset you have to create an adjustment layer so i'll come here to this folder here new item and click on adjustment layer Click on OK, carry the adjustment layer and keep it on top of this nested region over here. Then I will just drag it to properly align. Then I'll also duplicate that by hitting Alt key and duplicating that into a double portion. Let me also take this down. So I can also duplicate this two adjustment layers here and put them on these other nested clips here that we are yet to apply transitions to so now what you want to do is to come back to your effects tab and move to your presets you'll notice that one says bottom and one says top so i will apply this to the bottom and if i should play this you will notice the effects that applied there. It had a wiggle effect from up to down. It is no longer a single cut transition. But if you want to add a color to it, you know it is a wiggle color transition. So if the color is usually at the top, so if I add this to the top now, you'll see a red. That means I need to render this. But before I render this, let me just come over to this and also apply a transition to it. So I want to move down to the zoom transition over here and then i can apply the zoom button to this so if i play this automatically you can see that there's a zoom transition to it i can also choose to apply the top to it Now, if I should play this clip from the beginning, you will see the transitions that we have applied to these clips over here. So you can see the first transition, the zoom transition, and the stretch transition. All right, guys, so that's how to apply plugin transition presets. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate you guys. Feel free to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to every single one of them. Thank you, guys.